everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kathleen and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Foundation. It's supposed to be really, really good for people with dry skin, which I have. I'm also going to be doing my review of the laser, the Nera laser that I've been using on my skin for the last almost four months now. I started right around Thanksgiving. So I've been using it faithfully every night like for like 90 seconds around my eyes and some other areas and I want to show you the before and after pictures. And I have in store for you a few dupes. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I have a dupe for that. I have a Natasha Denona uh, eyeshadow palette. I have a dupe for that. And I also have a dupe for the Benefit Brow Pencil. So first I'm going to talk to you about the Nira laser. So uh, I was gifted this from Nira. It is the Precision Laser. It retails for $4.49. It is actually, um, I have a code though for 10% off. I'm gonna put the uh, before and after pictures up here so that you can see them. So basically what this is, it's an at-home laser treatment that you can do. It's pain-free, it's easy to use, um, it's pretty simple for you know taking care of it. You just need to charge it up. It comes with this charger and you just plug it in uh, it holds a charge for a really long time. I would say I charged it maybe twice over the last four months, which is crazy. Usually these things kind of lose their charge quite rapidly. And, uh, you know, I am amazed with the results. I, you know, I saw very subtle results around my mouth and uh, label fold area. But around my eyes, I've seen a big difference with my eyes. Uh, they just seem like they're more open, they're wider. In the beginning, I was first thinking like, I thought maybe it was the mascara that I was wearing. And then as I'm like thinking about it, I'm going, oh my God, it must be the laser that I've been using. And I thought the laser was just gonna remove a lot of the fine lines. But what it did is it actually stimulated the collagen growth underneath my eyes. So my eyes just seemed like they were more open and they just looked like the corners of my eyes were just kind of like flipping up a little bit more as opposed to sagging. So again, it's a very simple uh, tool to use. You, have, you just have to turn it on with this button down here. It has five different settings. So I had no problem using it on number five. And you simply just go around and you do it one beep around the eye. You just kind of do like this half moon all the way around. That sound that it's making, like you have to keep it down. You can't, if you pull it up too quick like that, it'll make that beeping sound like you'll have to just go back over again and do it. So just make sure that if you're planning on using it to keep it down on the skin and wait for that second beep to come along. But basically what you do is you just kind of go back and forth underneath the eye like this, you know, so you make like a half moon. And then you do the same thing on the other eye. It literally takes like 90 seconds to do. Um, I would just do it at night when I'm sitting down, just unwinding from the day, whatever I was doing, whether it be reading or watching TV. And I just found it to be very relaxing. I found that it could be, I felt like I was just like taking better care of myself too. So it was just a form of self care. And I actually did see results from it. So I will leave the, uh, the code to that in the description box down below. And, oh, and one more thing, you also get this hyaluronic acid uh, serum that you can put all over your face afterwards. So you have to do it on a clean, dry face. You know, you can't have any products on your skin. And then you just, afterwards, you just kind of go over it with this hyaluronic serum and just kind of let it sit in your skin overnight. And I started to see the results, just like they said, after about 90 days, and that's it for the Nira laser. Okay, so let's start with my first dupe is going to be, um, so this is one of my favorite eye brown pencils. It is the Benefit, it's in the color taupe. Um, you can see it's got the precision line on here. Did it make a line? Yeah. You can see, it's just very, very, it's a fine line. You know what I mean? But I like that because I can be, you know, more strategic about where I can place, uh, you know, the color on there. And then a dupe for that is this one here. It is by NYX and it is in the color taupe. And it has a spoolie on one side. And then it has, you can see the very fine head on the other side. And I will show you when I'm close together. So, 
the benefit is the top one and then underneath is the the nyx one i don't know if you can see those there i'm going to actually put them on um and the difference is it's substantial the nyx is actually what is the price for the nyx it's eleven dollars and the benefit brow pencil is 26 dollars so there's a significant difference there and although Benefit is one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why, it's the packaging. So I do a lot of on-location hair and makeup and mainly doing weddings, and I can't lose the top to, you know, an eyebrow pencil. It'll just, like, the tip will fall off. So these stay on very securely, securely where the NYX one, I use this one for home, it just comes off very easily, and I'm always, like, losing them, or it just kind of, like, it's just not sanitary to have a cap that just keeps falling off. But... I'm telling you, I can't tell the difference when I use these. So, and that is, again, that's a huge difference. So let's go in there and try this. I'll do one eye with the Benefit and then I'll do the other eye with, um, with the next. See, it has the fine point on there, just like the, uh, the Benefit. So they're very comparable. So yeah, so this is the Nick side and this is the Benefit side. The color is the same, like you don't see a slight change in even the color with this, which is a big thing when you're having your eyebrows done. I always prefer to stick with the, uh, you know, a lighter color, even if your brows are a little bit darker. Okay, so next we're going to move on to um, another dupe that I have, and it is the, so first I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a primer on my eyes, and I'm going to show you what this dupe is. Hold on one second. And just for reference, I'm using the, um, the Trish McAvoy eye primer here. Okay, so next up, I have a dupe for this Natasha Denona palette. It's a single, actually. It is in the color Bronze Edge. It is this color here. You can see it's a shimmery, kind of bronzy uh, color, which I happen to like. Um, it's very, you know, it's simple. It's a little shimmery. But I'm only going to be using it on my lid area. I'm not going to be going over the entire eye. And I have the dupe for that is this one here by Wet n Wild. Okay, and you get this one, this five uh, pan palette here. The difference in price is this one here is how much is an Natasha? This one's $13.50. This whole thing here is $4.99. Let me tell you something. These Wet n Wild palettes are amazing for the price like you cannot believe how pigmented they are how nicely they go on too so the color here i'm going to do for that is this one this second color in i'm going to go in here and i'm going to show you right next to each other like you can see there is a slight change in the pigment on it but once i get it on my eye i can't tell the difference between them so let's go ahead and put this on so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to take my 06 brush by the Yano series, and I'm going to go in. I am going to just tap that in there, swirl it around a bit, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to go right across my entire lid here. And you can see how nicely that goes on. And even if it seems a little bright to you, it's not really when it goes on. I like this when I'm tan or, you know, even in the fall, it looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the, uh, the 08 brush by Yano and I'm going to go in and I'm going to put the Natasha Denona palette on. And I will link everything in the description box below in case you have any uh, questions about where to find these products. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to just kind of soften that up a little bit. But for the price difference, like $4.99, you get five eyeshadows compared to the one by Natasha Denona. But I'm telling you, you, you can't go wrong with the Wet n Wild palettes. Now look at those. Can you tell the difference? I cannot tell the difference. I mean, this is not like a perfect application on, but I'm just doing it for to show you the difference in the color. And then what I would do is just kind of soften this up a little bit. Go in and clean up under my eye eyeshadow, just so that you don't get the, the drop off. Shimmers have a tendency to kind of have a lot of uh, drop off. So anyway, so yeah, you can see here the difference in the color. 
but on the eye, you can't tell the difference. I, at least I can. Comment below, let me know if you can tell the difference. All right, next we're gonna go in and I am going to use the new foundation by uh, Makeup Forever. Again, it's the HD, it's in the color 1N14. And it, let's see what it says here. It really doesn't, it's a 24 hour glow blurring hydration foundation. So it's a glowy type look, which I happen to like. I'm not really a matte person because my skin is dry. It is, adds a lot of hydration to the skin. And like I shared earlier, it's like 80% skincare. So it, they just came out with it. And uh, I think I've used it once so far and I was quite pleased with it. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna take one pump. You can see it comes in. I love a pump applicator. It comes in. I'm going to go in. I'm going to just take my finger and go around. I'm going to dab that in. And then you guys can kind of see how this goes on. Okay, and I'm gonna take my Jumbo Sonia G brush and go in and blend that in. So you can see the color is a good color. It's a good matte. I like it, it's very hydrating. Let's see, let's take a closer look. Oh yeah, that's nice. So this is definitely gonna be a glowier type look, especially with the eyeshadow that I have on. Okay, so yeah. let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried this foundation yet. Or what foundation do you use for dry skin? I'm always looking for, you know, a do or something different to try on my skin, especially with dry skin. So I'm a big fan of the uh, Estee Lauder uh, Hydra, Futurist Hydra foundation. I don't know why I always get that confused, but I do. Okay, so next we're gonna go in and I am going to conceal my under eyes. I don't have a dupe for any of these concealers. I'm just gonna use my favorite Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. I'm gonna go in and I am color corrector more than anything. It's got like this pinkish shade to it. And it does just kind of brighten up the under eye. I'm gonna be using this uh, Mario brush. I also love this brush. It's a great little like kitten paw type shape on the end here to kind of go in and Tap that in under the eye. I'm not a big, big fan of heavy uh, concealers under the eye. I usually like to stick with stuff that's brightening and very, very light and not too heavy or drying. Some of them like to dry down quickly because of, you know, people get creasing underneath the eye. But I'd much rather have creasing than look at it and have it look like it's like so dry under the eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Glow Wish uh, concealer. I like this one because it's very, very, here I'll show you. It's super light, it's super hydrating. You know, it does get it in two hours and feel like it's like so dry and, you know, cakey looking under the eye. Oh, actually I'm gonna use this uh, Killer Liner Too Faced, this chocolate brown, and go in and line a little bit underneath here. Okay, so now my last dupe is the, and this one's my favorite, so I saved the favorite for last, is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is like one of my most used uh, lip colors uh, in doing bridal work. It's very natural, it's very soft, 
They have three different uh, pillow talks. They have the, a light one, they have one that's like a medium color, and they also have one that's a little bit darker for people that are darker toned. They're all very popular. Like you, you know, the medium tone is great, the light tone is great, but this here particular one, the number one pillow talk, which was the original one, is probably my most used. I can honestly say that. And I'm gonna go in, I'm going to put the Charlotte one here on the bottom. And then the dupe for that is called Flower Beauty. It is in the color Spiced Petal, which is 035. And again, I'm gonna link all the products that I use down below, even the ones I went off camera and kind of did, uh, just so I wouldn't take up too much of your time. And it is this color here, I'll show you that. It goes, it's right on top of it there. You can see that is so close to, you know, that one. And they both go on beautifully. I cannot tell the difference. And the price difference is the Charlotte Tilbury is 25 for the mini. I believe the larger size like this one here is like 35. This here, this one by um, Pillow Talk, I mean this one here by Flower Beauty, which is the, um, which is the dupe is $9. So, to tremendous savings. And I can't tell the difference. I'll show you when it goes on. Like, I really cannot tell the difference. So, I'll tell people, like, when they come in to get their makeup done, like, here, here's, you take, take your pick. If you want the Charlotte Tilbury one, here, you can take this one. Or if you're, you know, budget conscious, like, here, you just use this. I can't tell the difference. So, anyway. So, if you're gaining any value from this video, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. And for reference, I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. <clears throat>